Greetings all! This is Justini and the Great, and welcome back to the bonuses for the Resident Evil 3 Remake. In this episode, we're going to cover the concept artwork and the models. This is a part that I personally consider boring when other people do it. So, pretty much, um, I'm not going to take too long to do this, but I'm doing, uh, but I am doing this for those that like this kind of stuff. Okay, in this one we have Carlos, Nemesis, uh, I like to consider this like canine nemesis. Okay, this is the Hunter Gammas, I think. In the different stages of their, I guess from the, like, the one at the top right is kind of similar to what they were in the original Resident Evil 3. And this is kind of like the evolution to what they were, what they became in the, the remake. Different shots of Raccoon City. Jill's apartment. Um, other shots from around Jill's apartment complex. More of Raccoon City, like the toy uncle head. Um, on the ground. Uh, that says restaurant, but that almost looks like more like a movie theater. Uh, that's a drugstore. Okay, that's a bar. I'm not exactly sure if we. I think there. I think in some semblance, some semblance, Jack's bar appears in the game, but I don't think it's in the same form. I'm pretty sure. I know there, uh, like the beginning of the game is, goes by very quickly. So even though I played through it like f maybe five times now, I, I can't tell you for sure, but I'm pretty sure that top image isn't anywhere in the game itself. The bottom image I think is. That, again, I don't think this, <clears throat> this was, uh, by the way, in Jack's Bar was a place in the original game, um, and so was the warehouse, but the warehouse, I, I, that looks like the warehouse from the, that you start off in, in the original game. In the original game, that's essentially where um, Dario Rosso is hiding out in the truck and says, and says like, uh, the only safe place is in here, you know, is his whole line, you know. Um, in the original game, though, like up in that, uh, up top is where you encounter your first item box. And you have to go up there to get a key to get out of the warehouse. In this game, I don't think the warehouse appears in this exact form in in the remake. Um, I think they used part of it, although I think they used some of, uh, like some aspects of the warehouse for the design of the place where you have to get all the fuses. The warehouse area where you have to get all the fuses, I think, was kind of inspired by it, too. Okay, so get a view of the rooftop, um, the parking garage. I guess that's the one. I mean, the the image up top looks like 
Um, the the rooftop that you go on while you're like exploring the bit of Raccoon City that you can explore um, while getting the the while getting the subway running. The rest of it looks like uh, the rest of it looks like it was from it's from the original like the beginning of the game. Okay, I know the image on the bottom. Image on the top. I don't think that's actually used in the game. All of these are great images though, and nice shots of Raccoon City. I think the bottom image though is the store that you can go into. You find one of the the um the boxes with the gems the gems in them in that store. I think that's the place. I think that's where that is. Moon's Donuts. Uh, nothing else to say about that. Um, exterior and interior. Stagla gas station from the remake of 2, I think. I think that was or I might be mistaken. I might be mistaken there. It, I don't, I just don't, I know, I just don't recall it being in the, in the final, in the remake of three. Got some nice other shots of stuff around Raccoon City. This is around that warehouse section where you're chased by Nemesis, I think. Um, Spencer Memorial Hospital. The lab in the end game. Top left image. Don't know what that is. It's a bunch of people looking in at a monster, probably killing people. Um, bottom left is definitely them working, probably working on Nemesis in the lab, like an early concept of that. Top right looks like an injured tyrant. Bottom right, I, I kind of like that image. Jill facing off against Nemesis. I like that image. I like the coloring and everything in that image at the bottom right. Different shots around the laboratory. Again, that uh, mainly that boss battle with Jip, uh, that boss battle, not the final boss battle, but the second to last boss battle with Nemesis. Kind of in the pit, in the, like the acid pit area. It's kind of a neat image. That looks almost like um, an early working of a pro promotional shot. I don't think that's anywhere in the game. Again, probably another early concept for promotional shot. More of Nemesis. Who always looked like he's constipated for some reason the way he's grinding his teeth. Like a little comic, I guess that's like a storyboard type of thing. An early concept storyboard kind of thing. Oh, and the Mega Man. Um, from what I understand, like in the late 90s, that was like uh, the Mega Man that they had around that time. Um, or that's what Mega Man looked like, and that's why they put that version of Mega Man in the game. Also, I mean, Mega Man is also Capcom. Okay, now back to the beginning. 
All right. So now we're going to look through the models or the ones that I have um, unlocked. Again, if, if you didn't catch it in the first video, um, I'm not going to go through all the records again, but you do, uh, um, the records do unlock the concept artwork and the models. Um, I'm not going to look at all the views of all these um, models. But um, I'm just going to show you the features, like on one model, and then we're just going to look at the model, you know, each model individually. OK, so um, this first one is Jill. Um, I think you can zoom in if you want to. You can. Uh, adjust the um, you can adjust the point of view um, you can there are a few uh, if it says that there's um, if it says like pose a that usually means that there are multiple poses there are a few poses with um, Jill's default the default Jill um, Okay. So, like I said, you can spin it around. You can uh, zoom in wherever you want to. I like the way her hair still. Uh, I like the way her hair moves around. I like the. I like the. Like the. The lifelike features of the models. Like you can even see her gun holster, um, her shoulder holster, um, uh, shaking. But yeah, you can zoom in, zoom out, and then you can press uh, square to reset it. Oh, and you can use the D-pad to move it around the screen, like. If you kind of, if you want to zoom in to a specific part, you can do that. So, okay. So you want to zoom in on her face, you can do that. Um, if you're a pervert, if you want to zoom in on her ass, you can do that. <laughs> I mean, you could basically, um, but that's essentially what you can do with these models. Um, this is uh, Jill Stars gear. Again, I'm not going to show you all the poses. Actually, I might show you all the poses. Um, that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna like rotate them all, rotate them around or anything like that. But this is Jill's stars, um, stars gear. We'll actually see her um, in this costume in the next episode when I demonstrate the weapons. Uh, you got Zombie Jill. There are no extra poses to this. She's just Zombie Jill. You got Carlos. Which surprisingly also includes Zombie Carlos. Mikhail Victor. Um, no extra poses for him. You got Brad Vickers. We also have Zombie Brad Vickers. That's his pose B. Tyrell has no um, extra poses. Murphy Seeker. Murphy Seeker is the guy that Nikolai shoots in the 
warehouse section, in the, like the mechanic shop. Dario Rosso. Nothing more to say about him. Nathaniel Bard. Nothing more to say about him. He's just kind of, uh, he's kind of an asshole in the game, and, well, there's just nothing more to say about him. Robert Kendo. No extra poses. It's Robert Kendo. Male Zombie. The extra poses for the zombies here are like different, um, the different, like the different male zombies that you can encounter throughout the game. You also have female zombies. Again, all the different ones that you can encounter throughout the game. A zombie dog. Pain in the ass enemies. Don't really know how to pronounce that. But I mean, I'm not good. I'm not as well. I'm not well versed enough in chemistry to know exactly how to pronounce that. But yeah, that's the zombies with the parasites on their head. It's the Hunter Beta. The Hunter Gamma. Liquor. That's funny. I think this is the only game that has both this is, I think this is the only Resident Evil game that currently comes to mind that has both Lickers and Hunters. I don't think there's any uh, there are any other Resident Evil games that have both. The Pale Heads. Very creepy looking zombies that regenerate. Stage one nemesis. It's nemesis. Stage two nemesis. The canine nemesis. Oh, did, wait. I missed the uh, different poses he had. That's him with the flamethrower and the rocket launcher. Canine Nemesis. I think this is the last one. The Charlie Doll. Yep, it was the last one. So anyway, these are the in-game models that I've unlocked so far. Obviously, I'm missing a few. The one notable that I'm missing is Nikolai, which probably should go right here. I'm guessing a bonus one is probably Mega Man. I haven't looked up what all the bonus models are to see, but I'm guessing a bonus one is Mega Man. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all the concept artwork and the models so far. And in the next step, and then the next bonus episode, which again should be up either the night after or an hour after, as late as the night after or as early as the hour after, 
this video is up um, I'm going to be demonstrating I'm going to be demonstrating the hot dogger and the infinite rocket launcher in uh, the stars gear costume with Joe so if you're so um, until next time stay safe keep on rocking this is Justinian the Great signing off